I think I must have been about 10 when the next door neighbour complained to social services about what was happening to me. Mum was very tough on me, pushed me around a bit, would often keep me at home with no, no company or food and things like that. And the next thing I knew, I was at the bush. When I first arrived there, I had no real feelings of happiness or sadness or anything, just functioning. I felt very uncomfortable around adults. And I recall two teachers in particular who I started to trust. There is one incident that I remember very, very clearly. I dug this huge hole in the ground and I found some corrugated iron and I put it over this hole and just left an opening to get into it. Uh, and that was my kind of den, if you like, and I was allowed to do it. Health and safety nowadays probably wouldn't. <laughs> And I invited these three teachers into my den and they actually came and they crawled in and it must have been incredibly hard for them. They crawled into my den and they sat there with me. And I think that was the outstanding moment when I felt okay uh, and that they accepted me for me. When I'd started out on life with nothing actually, one of the things I learned from being at the bush was to trust myself and my own instincts and also to communicate, because I never really was able to communicate with people until I, I was at the bush. Uh, and that's when I, I really learnt that ability to actually talk and not sit in a corner and cry or, 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 or break things and throw things around and so on. There was nothing, there was no rewards in that. The rewards was responses from others. And I found that out at the bush, very much so. Because the, there was two things I, I recall and has held well for me is, is expression, communication and sharing um, and trust. Uh, it has to be some trust. And that, those are things that I, I learned at the bush and the trust had to come from me, from myself. And that's what I believed, believed very strongly is what has helped me along my journey. The staff at the bush were just amazing people. They were just always there and they didn't necessarily accept the kind of things that one did or that I did. I can only speak for myself, like, like running away from school. Uh, and they, it was always acknowledged that I had done something that was not acceptable, but I wasn't really punished for it. I was talked to about it. And the emphasis, I think, was put on to me. Before I left, the bush, I, there, there was a meeting with psychiatrists, a psychologist, uh, uh, Mrs. Doherty, uh, and uh, uh, a couple of other people who talked to me about my future. And when I left school and finished up um, scrubbing floors, I sort of thought about that meeting. Uh, and as I scrubbed away, I was actually using energy, something I had also learned at the bush. It reduced my level of frustration and thought, Sally, you're not going to live your life doing this. I was very angry and when I talked to Dr Carey, who had played a big part of my going to the bush in the first place, she said, what did you do at the bush to help you deal with your anger? You didn't go smashing up fences and beating somebody in the face or something, did you? What did you do? And she reminded me of the things that I had um, learned just spontaneously and through the example of the staff and the team and their tolerance that, uh, yeah, it's in my hands. I took the bull by the horns and, and left the job. Those little things that I had learned at the bush came into play. And I never quite forgot about that. I, remember, I started then as an adult to recall those sorts of experiences to work for me. I learned to cook and I spent the next five years just wandering around doing those sorts of jobs. Finally arriving in New Zealand, taken up by a family in Auckland who felt sorry for me. And it was then that said, Sally, you're 23 years old, you've got to start planning your life. It was similar to what was said to me at the bush. It's in your hands, mate. It's in your hands. What do you want to do? Make something of it. And that's when I decided to start a career and I went nursing, mostly in community mental health. Uh, and I still think that those early days of learning and understanding more about myself has helped me to learn and understand more about other people. I do have bad moments, um, but those experiences at the bush is that it's up to you, buddy. Yeah, what are you going to do? Having been to the bush, it's kind of like a, a medicine, not in a medical sense, but it, it's a psychological medicine. Had I not gone to the bush, I probably would have had um, 
not a good life. I, I'm quite sure of that um, because I had no direction. I had no faith in myself or anybody else. I would have grown up a pretty angry sort of a character. That intervention for that couple of years just moved me away from that. There's been many times in my life when I've had to stop and think about, whoa, hang on here. Um, and little, little triggers go back to the bush.